let's talk about a topic that I've, I've commented on many times. I haven't gone into much detail on it. It's called anti-aliasing. I've commented in previous videos to turn it off wherever you can, but I really haven't shown you what it is. We're back to opening up. Uh, let's, let's revisit the uh, fight breast cancer file. If you call from earlier, we opened this file up, and we made sure an, an unchecked anti-aliasing and change the resolution. Again, the default resolution in Photoshop is 72 dpi. Once you change it in uh, one, of your, uh, one of your files you open, Photoshop remembers it. Now remember, Photoshop can forget these things if it uh, loses its preference file. But let's, let's make this 300 dpi. Let's make it uh, 12 inches uh, t-shirt size. Let's leave anti-aliasing checked. We're going to say OK. File comes up. Now it may be hard to see uh, fully what I'm talking about uh, on a check background. I'm actually going to make a new layer and we're just uh, going to fill this layer with uh, white so we can see it better. We're going to zoom in. Now remember I left anti-aliasing turned on. Anti-aliasing is Photoshop's way of softening edges. So if I zoom in really close, see all those little uh, light shades of pink? And if you look close, you almost see some gray levels. Now, if I was going to print this out to an inkjet printer to direct the garment, sublimation wouldn't matter. That's what it's there for, to kind of uh, minimize jaggies. And this kind of all started, I think, years ago as, as lower res files, and it was you just need to go high res, but they were too big. This is Photoshop's way of softening edges. I'm going to zoom in real close. Well, the problem is, if I'm separating this, there's more than one color here. I want to separate, if I want to separate out just this pink, I have light pink, lighter pink, light pink, kind of almost a gray. I have all these colors going on here. And what happens is, if you separate this file and you try and pull just the pink, uh, you may get other colors. And then if you try and pull maybe just the gray for a solid gray area, you're going to have glows around all your type. You're going to have these glows from these odd other, I call them rogue colors from anti-aliasing. Let's zoom in on this and just see what we have here. See the different gray levels there? Those are all going to be different, different colors on a separation. And so it makes it harder to separate because you end up having to clean things up. I, I can't tell you how many times I've received files like this where they give it to me as a Photoshop file, and I know that it was a vector file. I know it was built in a vector program, and I zoom in on it, and I know that as a separator, I'm going to have to deal with all this little rogue stuff here, all these soft edges here, and erase them. I can't tell you how many times I have emailed customers back, do you have the vector version? I need that. Or how did you open this in Photoshop? My guess is you left anti-aliasing checked. And of course the response is I didn't know what that meant. Of course I left it checked. I didn't have any idea because it's the default. And I said earlier that a lot of these tools over here will have anti-aliasing as one of the options. So if you select around something uh, and you have anti-aliasing checked, Photoshop says I'm going to soften that puppy. And so we're going to zoom in again and see. It gives you all these different shades. That's with anti-aliasing turned on. Let's close this file out. Let's reopen the file. Now we're going to uncheck anti-aliasing. And by the way, Photoshop will remember this too. Unless it crashes, this will now be your default anti-aliasing unchecked and the resolution 300 dpi. Now, to the naked eye, the file looks the same. I'm just going to flatten this real quick, which is a layers function that we have not talked about yet. And the flattened window went off the, off the monitor here, which went to the side. Uh, I just wanted you to see it on a white background. It's going to be easier to see. If I zoom in now, now my vector snobs are saying, wow, look at those jaggies. But Scott, the separator says, that's going to separate clean because uh, I'm either going to pull the color or not going to pull the color. I don't have to deal with any of those rogue colors around. There's no other, other softer, lighter shades around it. It's going to be much, much easier to separate. Because as an example, a good example is this file has gray in it. If I were to pull this gray as a channel, as its own color, I'm going to probably get glows on the same gray channel around the word fight and the word breast cancer from the anti-aliasing and those little tiny gray pixels that were left there around that. I didn't have having to erase those. But with the anti-aliasing turned off, it's a clean deal. You always, always, always want to turn off anti-aliasing. And it really is because you're a separator. It really doesn't affect the rest of the printing industry. It affects when you're trying to do color separations.